all over the borderland, thousands took a few moments to step outside today around lunchtime mm. and catch the very rare solar eclipse. Now, El Paso saw about 80% coverage in other parts of Texas the U and the U.S. It was a total solar eclipse. Now, the peak in El Paso was at about 1225. All across the borderland, several organizations were holding eclipse viewing parties to help locals view the eclipse safely. Finally. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Robert Olguin. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, I'm Liz Dewicki. Yeah, it was really exciting here. You it know, was. El Pasoans gathered, as Robert mentioned, to catch that once in a lifetime solar eclipse that passed through North America. And as he mentioned here, partially here in El Paso as well. KFOX 14 News at 5's Jacqueline Quinones joins us live from the UTEP campus, where the aerospace program coordinated to host young students for a viewing event there. Jacqueline. Well, I'm here at UTEP, well, where it might not look like it right now, but earlier today, this place was packed with students from the Isleta Independent School District, as well as students from UTEP who are wearing these to watch the spectacular solar eclipse. It's nice to see it like in person. I think it's pretty cool. The sun, the fact that the sun and the moon can like come together and they can and they can block each other out, or the moon can block the sun. I think it's pretty cool. In a very rare solar eclipse viewing, over 300 students, 6th through 12th graders from the Young Women's Leadership Academy, were invited by the UTEP Aero Center program to attend a viewing event. We're promoting STEM activities in our community. And so with today's solar eclipse, we saw the perfect opportunity to be able to get all the young women out here so we can gather around together. And NASA provided the really awesome solar eclipse glasses. Wow, it's getting bigger, Mattel. Yeah. The last solar eclipse occurred in 2017, and the next one is supposed to occur in 2044. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between Earth and the sun and then creates the image that we can see here from Earth. Students I spoke with say they find the image they see to be very fascinating. It's interesting how like it happens and how like the sky goes black. Students from UTEP also attended the event to enjoy the rare phenomenon. It's just a once in a lifetime event, you know, it's so spectacular that we get to see this. You know, the next one's in 20, uh, 2044 uh, and it's just uh, such a phenomenon that, you know, the moon is passing over the sun. We're pretty lucky, but not as lucky as Austin. They have the full eclipse today. If you have any pictures that you would like to share, you can send them over to our Eclipse Chime and Tag at kfoxtv.com, cbs4local.com. Reporting live at UTEP, Jacqueline Quinones, KFOX 14 News at 5. All right, so while Robert and I, we were here in El Paso watching it, we did not get to see the path of totality to see the eclipse. Our very own Brad Montgomery did. He caught it from North Texas, so we want to show you this. He sent us some videos, the moon passing the sun, as it becomes totally dark here, sending us a couple of these videos here. Uh, that looks a little bit like, oh, uh, look at perfect. that. Perfect shot. Now, I don't know if you've been following this, but as he's been tracking this, he was getting really nervous because there was all these, you know, the forecast was changing. He kept talking about clouds and yeah. there was talk about severe weather at a certain point. So I was really excited to hear that he actually saw this. Yeah, the weather didn't cooperate for some parts of the country. It mm -hmm. did for Brad, so good for him. I'm glad he got excited. to see it. So people also gathered today at EPCC's Mission Del Paso campus in the Lower Valley. That school hosting a live NASA presentation, a community viewing of the eclipse, and you can see feeds from NASA cameras around the world, plus top-of-the-line gear. We have some big Dobsonian telescopes which get a really good view of the actual sun during the eclipse, of course, obviously with special filters, also passing out ISO uh, eclipse glasses certified that you can, and you can use them safely to uh, witness the eclipse. EPCC instructors were also on hand to answer any questions that people might have had about the eclipse. And then we have another watch party. This was held in the Lower Valley at Judge Marquez Library on Yarborough, right near Yucca Park. This one was hosted by the Sun City Astronomers Club. Those who made it out were able to view the eclipse again through these special telescopes. These telescopes do have filters, so you just can't go out and use any telescope. So these are specialized professionals, specialized uh, uh, filters on these uh, uh, telescopes, so you're able to see uh, the eclipse. And then in addition to viewing the telescope or to, to viewing the eclipse through the telescope, I should say, they also gave away the free eclipse glasses so they could view the eclipse safely.